Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to this video guide for my address fields module for PrestaShop and 30Bs. So this module allows you to add new fields to customer addresses without having to mess with PHP code. If you ever tried doing it on your own, you're probably familiar with the annoying process of having to do it manually every time. So this module saves you hours of trouble by letting you add fields through its configuration. So let's get to it. I have it installed here. And the first thing I will see is the info message here about the hook. This is really all of the coding you will ever be required to use with the module. And all you have to do is just copy this tiny little snippet here from uh, the, the box and paste it into the template. So I will show you how to do it now, but of course, you can always refer back to the README if you need some extra written reference. So now, depending on the checkout you use, you need to edit one or two files. Please bear in mind, third-party checkouts might not work with this module, as they usually have their own system for displaying address fields. If you have one of those and really want the module, feel free to get in touch and we can try to make it work somehow. So the first file to edit is address.tpl. I will open up themes, default bootstrap or any template you have in this case, address.tpl. Make sure it's address and not addresses. Now I, I did already, uh, I added this code already and you can see it's around line 51 for my template. So it's just ook h equals address fields field equals field name and this is really all we need to add to the template make sure it's inside this for each for uh, from ordered address fields loop this is a, a standard variable so even if you're using a custom template uh, template it should stay the same let me just shrink the window a little bit so that it fits my recording screen now, this is really it if you use the five steps checkout. But if instead you have the one page checkout, and again, I am referring to the base one page checkout, not a third party module. If you do, then you have to edit another file named order opc new account.tpl. Again, theme folder. And let me find it order opc new account.tpl. Again, I did add the code already but for record you need to add it in the for each reading from equals dlv all fields and this is the first one this is for the uh, dlv stands for delivery address so you can see i added mine already the second one is for each from I and V all fields. So I'll scroll down until I find it. And you can see it's right here inside the for each. I will paste my snippet. And it's done, really. That was all we need to do in terms of coding, so to speak. So let's go back to the configuration now. Okay, so with everything in place, let's add a new field. Now to do it, Let's scroll down to add new field and let's talk about name first. This is going to be the actual name of the field. So it needs to be underscore letters, no special characters, no spaces, nothing like test field, as you can see here. So for instance, uh, my new test field or anything that resembles a URL, uh, preferably without spaces, without dashes or anything like that. Um, Dashes and underscores are okay, but if possible, I would avoid those as well. The label can really be anything you want. So in this case, my new test field, and you have a multi-language option if you want. Field type can be either text, text area, or select, in which case we will have the possibility to add options for it later on after adding it. Validation is important for the text and text area types since 
it basically tells the system the user cannot add anything else than this type of data and it's uh, really really important in terms of security so if you want the text or text area to contain a generic string then use is generic name if you want it to be an integer so like one two three four then use is unsigned integer and if you want it to be a floating point number like 2.3 and so on use is float i will stick to is generic name Next, you can choose if you want it to be required or not, and I will choose yes, and if you want it displayed in the back office address list. Okay, let's go ahead and click save. Good, it's been added. So the next step is to physically add this new field to the addresses. And for this, you can use the very last box on the page here. This is a shorthand way to do it and bear in mind changing the address format here will affect all countries because usually press and shop in 30 B's in press and shop in 30 B's you have to go through each single country and add the format. This form assigns it to all of them together. So if you need anything specific for any country use the standard way from localization countries. So what we need to do is just add the field name and remember all underscores and so on to the list. So I will see what it is here. It's um, my new test field. So anywhere here I can add my new test field and then save. Okay, it's been added and uh, the fact that you have this uh, handy text area makes it really easy to shuffle the fields the way you prefer so that you can have total control over where this new field is displayed in the format across the shop. Now let's see if everything worked out properly and reach the addresses tab in the back office. So customers addresses and you can see I have my new test field already here because I chose display in list. So I will edit the first one. And you can see my new test field is right here. It's not where it should really be in the back office because Press the Shop and 30Bs do add home phone, mobile phone, and other after uh, those fields. So I will add some garbage content here just to check that it works. Save and you can see it's appearing here as well. Edit, everything seems good. Save again, good. So let's see if it works in the front office as well. I will refresh. You can see nothing here because this is another customer I'm logged in. So I will update my current address, scroll down and you can see my new test field is here. So, well, it should be the last one, but by default, you do not have the state set for the address format. So this will come wherever you want in case you add it to the proper format. So again, some garbage text, save, and you can see it pops up right here. Now, as a last thing, let's see how to deal with select fields. So I will add a new one. I will call it my select fields again all underscores no special characters no anything at all label is going to be my select field I'll label just to make something funny field type is going to be select and validation doesn't really matter here since uh, the type is automatically set to is unsigned integer for uh, the select field it's not going to be required it's not going to be in the list so I will save and now let's add options for it. We only need a label for it. So you can see field is set to my select fields. I don't know why I call it fields, it should be field, but anyway. The label is gonna be option one and we're gonna add three options. I will skip the other languages again. So that, that's uh, option one, option two, and option three now to add it to the address format unlike the text and text areas for the select type we cannot simply use the name we must use the name 
underscore LBL, which stands for label. Otherwise, it will only display a number, which is the option ID instead of the actual text. So let's give it a try. My exact name is my select fields with S for some reason. So I will underscore LBL for label. Save. So if I now reach the addresses in the back office, and I'll, I'll open up this one, I'll scroll down, you can see my select field label. I can choose any. Go back and see it's selected as it should. Now in my front office, I will update this address again, and I will choose option three. Save. Cool. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. So we are done for the video guide. And if you got interested and want to get it, click on the link you see now to reach the module store and use video tut or uppercase as voucher code when checking out to get an extra 10% off. This is Nemo with NemoPS.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.